Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing Sabre um, from, oh man, what's it called again? Uh, Sword Art Online? <laughs> no, it's not Sword Art. Oh, what's it called? Fate. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, Sabre from the Fate series. Um, so she's kind of facing forward, holding her sword. So I'm on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil and hit pause if I go too fast. Center point of my page is about there. I say that's where his nose, her nose will be. And then we just come up over to the right a little bit and we'll start with the eyelid. So you just curve a line up and over. Like so. And then this comes down, hooks down. And then we just go back up. And we just thicken up this line. We add a little spike coming off here. Doesn't really have a bottom eyelid, it's just a big eye, right? So we go curve down here. And it's kind of flat on the bottom. And then curve the other side. So it's like a big overlay. And she's sort of looking off to the left hand side, right? So the eye is kind of moved over to the left. So we just go around. So color it in. Okay. And then we have a bit of an eyelid line and then brown sort of eyebrows just above. So just like real thin line coming across but you can just add a section maybe here just to color in okay and our other eye just over here you're about eye width right so the width of our eye would sort of fit in here even though they are big eyes should fit across right so we just curve a line up and over So, and then we hook it down the back and thicken it up. So make it thicker, darker, like that. And then we'll add a little spike just coming off the front. And then the eye. So we go oval, kind of flat on the bottom. Oval kind of flat on the bottom there. Okay, and she's kind of looking off the left, so slightly, slightly left of center, this eye. This one more so for some reason. But don't, you don't need to worry too much. It, it should still work out okay and then eyebrows and eyelid lines so big long tick for an eyebrow and we kind of just thicken up this end for somewhere to color in So her nose, very simple, down like that in the middle. And her mouth, just sort of a downturned, frowning kind of lip kind of thing. Just there. And her chin, so fairly pointy. Like so. So I think her head is, is slightly turned, right? So we're not like same jaw on each side. So slightly three quarter pose. So what that means is on this side. We go up here, change direction, go up the side of her face, like so. And then the jaw on the other side is just like a standard sort of curving line. 
So you'll see this in anime sometimes. It's not fully three quarters, just slightly, and they just it gives the character just a different look. So a different jaw on each side. So then her hair and her fringe. So let's see. So we've got a fringe that comes across her eyes. We'll, I guess we'll do that first. So we've got a piece of hair that comes down here. And then the fringe starts. So real long. Here and then another one comes down like so. Back up. And you can't actually see her eyebrows underneath, so we don't have to raise anything. Down towards her nose. This goes back up. And then another one here. Spike maybe here. And then this goes down. Back up around. There. There. Um. These could have like some lines just on them, like some texture lines and hair lines and things. Right, so her hair on this side comes across her face. So this one like comes down. Across her face like this. And then this comes down like so. Spike up, back down, up into there. And then we've got like another hair spike here. And then this will run up top of her head nearly. So this is like those pieces of hair that hang down the side of her face when she's standing straight. And in underneath, you can just see her ear like her earlobe, just in there, in her ear, here. Okay, and then hair spike sticking down here. Some more fringe just here, so like. So, and then this will come down here. Some texture lines inside, like so. And there can be some like smaller sort of Hairline's coming off here. Right, but in general, that's it. And then we go around the top of her head. So we'll down to there. All right, and then she has that piece of hair that comes off the top. Spikes around back in. Okay. 
and she has some of those triangles so her hair tied up at the back so you just that sort of a zigzag line coming down there uh right so then we've got like a hand and a sword coming across here right so we got to draw that first so we'll just start with this sort of rectangle this right and then she's got like her finger underneath but it's it's done in like armor so line like this another line here right and then her finger goes in around the back just there just like the bottom of the hilt of the sword we might as well finish her hand right so each knuckle so you'll just go one two three right and then one two Three, right, and then just join these together like that. And then the next segment, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then we'll join them together because these are pieces of armor now. So like that, and then it goes into her guard for her hand back here. Like so, up to there. And you might give this an extra line just to show it's got like an edge. Like that. Um, and then maybe like the tops of her fingers, just there, and then her thumb comes out from around it, back to there. Like a button or something here then her sword right so it's like glowing big sort of line so you might need a ruler and we're going to just bring it in from here and it's just done with like two sort of relatively straight lines So, and I think there's like another section just here. And I think, um, yeah, no, I think that's it. That's like the side of a sword. So should there be a line going down the middle then? I'm gonna put a line in the middle. There isn't one in the picture, but because it's a sharp sword, like surely, now I could be wrong here, but I'm gonna add this because I wanna. I'm gonna guess the middle there. Okay. So our hand then has um, this circle coming around, right? So it's it's like her. Armor. 
goes here. So it goes around the back, comes out to there, and then this has like all this other sort of stuff. So like more arm or so like another circle. So it's like our arm and it's been foreshortened. So it comes all the way around and then circle there. Um Right, and then her shoulder, so just in here, so it comes out from the sword, down like there, sticks out, back down into there. So she's got these big sort of shoulder pads, so like part of her dress that's on underneath. So this here, and then there's like a golden yellow strip there, right? So she has then a square piece of armor that comes across her chin. Like here. Then it's got a screw or something in this side and this comes across. Like so. And then we can see her neck. Just here and here. And then Golden piece comes down to there and around like so. So then there's like more armor and stuff that comes down here. This is like her chest plate there, and she's another arm that comes across here. So her shoulder, we'll get the main bits in and then we'll add the details. So shoulder comes across here under her hair, down, so it sticks out like this. And then her armpit's in here, so like these four lines for her armpit and her arm comes across, coming down to hold the handle at the bottom. Right. So then this is her arm here. We've got like a fold line going up that way, fold line going up here, and then that golden yellow section there, another sort of fold line here, and then more armor like this thing coming across her arm here, right? So, so you just go like a curved line down off the bottom of the page there, and this has a square edge down this way. In down to there, and then it kind of curves here. And so this has all segments on it, right? So, that sort of segment here that goes down like so, and then another segment here goes down like so, and then the next one. Like so. so broken up into four sort of sections, and these have bolts on the tippy top. And each one has like a box or a rectangle on it. Right, and then like her thumb or something comes out here. And then the handle of the sword there, side of her body here. And then like the bottom of her uniform or dress or whatever it is, comes out here flowing. There's like some spikes. She's got a ribbon tying her hair, so you can just see the back of that here. And like another part of the bow comes out from behind her hair here. 
and we can see it just underneath our ear coming down this way and some of our shoulder should be there all right so then there's all these patterns and stuff on her chest right so black line this way black line that way and they're quite thick so we'll just darken them up sort of here and just these symbols with some lines coming out of them like so and another one back to there and some more down here, like a circle, a moon, uh, like a tadpole <laughs> there, and then a circle with a spike coming out the bottom. to draw saber from the fate series hope it's helpful guys thanks for watching see you in the next one bye